You know, these days everyone is talking about going green. From recycling to reusing, there's a big push to get us all thinking about the environment. But can you still go green when it comes to makeup and personal care? Diane McKirchen says, yes, you can. Diane is the CEO of BigGreenPurse.com, a website dedicated to women's environmental concerns. Now, when it comes to makeup, I have to honestly say, I've never even thought about going green. I didn't know it was really absolutely possible. So, where do we begin? Well, we can start with any number of these products. These are all products that you would find either in your makeup bag or in your bathroom. And okay. most people don't realize that they contain at least four or five ingredients that you want to watch out for. Okay. Uh, these are all pretty good products, apart from the one that I would pull out first, which is this one. And the reason why I flag it is because it says... It happens to be a product I use. And it says on the right on the box, antibacterial. And the reason why you want to stay away from as many antibacterials as you can is because we're all building up a resistance to the antibacterial products that we really need when really? Where? we go to the hospital. So you don't... Because this, this it is pegged by my dermatologist as being the one with the least sort of perfumes, toxins, things like that, and that's why she has it on my skin, because it's not supposed to be damaging. Is but, that wrong? Well, the problem is that antibacterials are showing up in window cleaner. They're showing up in all kinds of soaps. They're showing right. up in perfume. They're showing up in soap that you use in the shower. You just don't need antibacterials in just about everything. And actually, they're now being put into about 50% of the products that we're buying for personal care. So oh, if you really don't need an antibacterial, stay away from it. Right. Okay. Sh that's shower gel. You know, a lot of the shower products that we're using contain things like parabens and phthalates. And that all sounds very chemical. But in fact, these are products that are, they sort of mimic the hormones that we have in our bodies. Mm -hmm. And when we wash them off and they go down the drain, they get into our rivers and streams and what happens is they mess around with the poor little frogs and the fish and all these creatures that are actually living in the environment. So if it says parabens, no good. St try stay and away. stay away from it. And okay. phthalate, those kinds of things are actually things you want to stay away from. Okay, so I've tried this toothpaste too and I don't like it. You don't like it? Well, <laughs> see, maybe you can find something that you do like because it turns out that actually a lot of toothpastes have all kinds of chemicals in them that you'd be surprised. You know, it's, they sound natural, but in fact, one of the things about Tom's and Burt's Bees is that they've got a minimum amount of ingredients. Right. And a nice little trick that you can do is just read the label. If you're comparing products in the store, pick the one that has the least amount of ingredients in it. Is fluoride okay? I mean, because obviously that's why we buy toothpaste, right? Fluoride seems to be safe. You just don't want to overdo it. Every Again, every product doesn't need fluoride. Stick right. with the toothpaste. It doesn't need to have to be in the mouthwash. Okay. What's this one? Shampoo. Shampoo. You know, oh, okay. One Shampoo. of the nice things, that, that, and one of the reasons why we have so many products here is because there are now so many products on the market that are environmentally friendly. You know, mm -hmm. before it used to be that it was just one or two that were available, but because there has been this explosion, of environmental interest, you have so many so options. So what don't you want in your shampoo? Well, again, you don't want the parabens, you don't want the phthalates. If you can avoid fragrance, people are, you know, manufacturers right. are putting fragrance heard. into so many things. You really don't need fragrance because it contains phthalates. And again, once these things get into the water stream, we're sort of sunk. This is a company that I think everybody is now familiar with. Burt's Bees is pretty much universal. I mean, you can find it almost anywhere. And that's even the, the great thing store. about it. Something like this, the Aubrey Organics, is a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. Burt's Bees, Tom's of Maine, yes, you can buy them at CVS, you can buy them in the Giant, Whole Foods, I've Whole seen. Foods just yeah. about any place that you're going to be shopping. Alba. Now Alba. this is a facial scrub. Now why should I use this one as opposed to this, the Cetaphil? Well, again, I think that there are less chemicals that are going to cause a problem if they get loose in the environment than this. And also, some of these things are actually, they're showing up in breast cancer, tumor tissue. I mean, they you're also kidding. have products. They, are, they also have chemicals that affect our bodies. So we want to try and stay away from things that could affect our human health as well as the environment. Now, I don't want to you know, use this as a, a, an example because it's just makeup that I happen to have in my bag. And I, I don't know. What's, what would be wrong about the, the names that we find in the store? What should I look for that I don't want in my makeup? What you want to stay away from is this long, long list of ingredients of things that you really can't even pronounce. Right. Honestly, if you and can't I, pronounce it, don't buy it. I think the thing to do when you go into a, a cosmetic store and there are all these chains that are now in the malls is ask them for ingredients that are plant based. The more plant based they are, the more organically based they are, the safer you're Makes going sense. to be. It's a little bit more uh, simple than asking for name brands if you're not familiar with them. Thanks for the advice. You're very welcome.